Medical professionals often refer to colorectal cancer, which includes colon cancer that affects the large intestine and rectal cancer that affects the lowermost part of the large intestine. According to the American Cancer Society, 1 in 20 people are at a risk of developing colorectal cancer during their lifetime. The exact cause of colorectal or bowel cancer is not known. However, it is believed to develop when healthy cells become abnormal and start growing in number and accumulate in the lining of the colon, forming polyps. Left untreated, polyps may become cancerous. Several factors increase your risk of developing colon and rectal cancer, including aging above 50 years, some types of bowel diseases, family history, obesity, smoking, excessive alcohol intake, a sedentary lifestyle, type 2 diabetes and regular intake of processed foods or red meats. As it can be difficult to treat colon cancer after it spreads to nearby areas, it is important to know what the early symptoms are. This can help you seek early treatment and give you a better chance in recovery. Here are the top 10 warning signs of colon cancer you shouldn't ignore. 1. Sudden weight loss. One of the core effects of cancer in the body is the fact that it is able to feed on the body like a parasite in order to make itself grow, spread and live as part of the host, in other words, the patient. This comes with a range of uncomfortable symptoms that include sudden and unexplained weight loss. This is especially true when it comes to colon cancer, which directly affects your body's ability to digest food and process nutrients. Sudden weight loss should always be investigated. It will almost always point towards another, larger health problem. There are many reasons why someone might ignore their sudden weight loss or chalk it up to something else, including if they are currently on a diet, Many people have accidentally ignored warning signs of cancer because they thought that their weight loss was completely normal and due to their diet instead. 2. Anemia. When your body is losing weight, it's not only shaking off fat deposits, sometimes, weight loss also means that you're losing bone and muscle mass. In most cases, the sudden weight loss associated with cancer also means the body is rapidly losing nutrients in the process. It's not just weight you're losing, it's nutrients. The body will eventually begin to pull nutrients from its reserves in an attempt to make up the difference, and this means that you might start to suffer from other deficiency-related symptoms such as feeling faint, experiencing cravings for strange things and anemia. In short, anemia means that your body is losing vast amounts of iron. You have likely guessed yourself that the easiest way to take care of an iron deficiency is to up your intake of iron, either through your diet with iron-rich foods like beef liver and red kidney beans or with supplements. 3. Abdominal discomfort. Colon cancer starts with the forming of polyps in the colon, and this often becomes irritated over time, especially as food moves past the blockage in the colon, which only irritates it further. The longer colon cancer is left undiagnosed, the more dangerous it gets. One of the first symptoms of underlying colon cancer is experiencing severe abdominal discomfort. This can manifest in several forms including flatulence, constipation and bloating. You might notice that your abdominal discomfort becomes worse when pressed, or you might notice that it doesn't hurt at all, whether or not you are experiencing pain is not a sure way to determine whether you have cancer and you should never attempt to diagnose yourself. If you show any of the symptoms on this list and suspect that it could be cancer, make an appointment with your doctor and have it checked out as soon as you can. 4. Changes in habits. You should always take note of your bowel movements and note any changes. While this sounds like a disgusting habit, most doctors recommend that you at least take the occasional look to see what's been coming out of you, how else are you going to know if there's something wrong? One of the first warning signs of colon cancer is a sudden change in your stools or bathroom habits. You might notice that it takes a little longer to finish up than it used to, or it might start to feel like you have to go to the bathroom a lot more often, only to find that it's a false alarm once you have yourself sat down and ready. It might also be the opposite, and you might be rushing to the bathroom every five minutes. Always take note of any changes, especially ones in the frequency, consistency, and color. 5. Feeling, full, and bloated. Changes in your bathroom habits should always be noted, and if something serious has changed then you are better off reporting it to your doctor. The thing with most cancers is that the sooner they are diagnosed, the better your chances are of beating it. 
especially colon cancer as a type that you would much rather spot and treat early on. If you experience a feeling that you are always, full, like you have just finished eating, or you find that you are suddenly bloated for no reason, see a doctor immediately, especially if you are able to combine it with some of the other symptoms we've mentioned in this article. The feeling of feeling bloated might also come with an increased frequency to run to the bathroom, and it will more often than not turn out to be a false alarm. At worst, your doctor asks for stool samples. 6. Constipation. Colon cancer comes with a range of digestive upsets, and the first thing that tips most people off to the fact that there is something wrong with their bodies is the fact their bathroom habits are changing, usually, it comes with more discomfort or pain than they are used to that goes beyond being able to blame, something you ate. Repeated digestive upsets that can be combined with some of the other symptoms on this list means that you should take a closer look at your symptoms as a whole. Constipation can be a sign of underlying colon cancer. Constipation only makes the problem worse, irritating cysts and polyps as they move through the colon, and this can mean that this symptom is often more than just uncomfortable, it's painful. If left for long enough, constipation can also wear its way through the lining of the colon over time. 7. Nausea. Digestive upset as a symptom isn't just linked to your stomach and colon, though what's going on in either of the two might still be the root cause. Many people also experience nausea as a symptom of colon cancer, and this goes along with most of the digestive symptoms that we've already discussed here. In most cases, nausea will go away by itself. You will either throw up and feel better, having expelled what you needed to get out of your system, or it will even out once the cause has been taken care of, like car sickness. But when nausea occurs a little too regularly or doesn't go away at all, it means you should take a closer look at what could be wrong. Repeated occurrences of nausea that have no other cause combined with the other symptoms here could very well mean you are at risk of cancer. 8. Diet changes. Most people don't think that what they crave and how they choose to eat could be a symptom of anything, and that's exactly why most people never spot this symptom. Have you felt an overwhelming urge to make sudden and drastic changes to your diet? You might feel like eating a sandwich platter every hour if you've never felt like eating bread, or you might have suddenly developed a sweet tooth that you never had before. Make an appointment with your doctor. Cravings like this either means that your body is missing something vital, or cancer is trying to trick your body into thinking that you are. People might not think of this at all, but cancers tend to feed on sugar, and you very well might be fueling the problem with fizzy drinks that irritate the stomach lining and sugars that encourage the cancer to grow. See your doctor. 9. Blood. You would think that spotting blood in their stool would make most people run straight to the doctor's office, but in most cases, it doesn't. Why? Because most people either don't recognize it for being blood, or most people just never look. That might take some explaining. First, blood in the stools doesn't have to be bright red in color. In fact, it doesn't even have to be dark red. Bright red usually only means fresh blood, and a little of it might point to a rectal fissure. What you're looking for as a warning sign of colon cancer is most often darker blood, which will appear almost black to pitch black, meaning that most people don't stop to think that it could be blood at all. This is a sign of more advanced colon cancer, and you should make an immediate appointment with your doctor if you spot this.